Hi, my name is Debbie Miller. I'm the Natural Resource Conservation Coordinator for the um, and a faculty for the University of Florida at the Milton Campus in Milton, Florida. Um, if you want to talk about careers that you can get if you major in natural resource conservation, well, you have to think of the environment because um, this is a degree program where you're talking about conservation, ecology, and those kinds of subjects. And so the kinds of careers that basically you can get with this kind of a degree is careers that deal with the environment and people actually because it's conserving the environment, the plants, the animals, wildlife, but also in a way that's conducive with people using those natural resources. So the careers are things like park rangers and wildlife managers or wildlife excuse me, biologists, um, conservation biologists, um, and of course scientists who um, work with wildlife and plants and forestry and forest and water and all those different kinds of areas. Um, there's also the technical side. There are a lot of people that work with the computer side of natural resources. They model population changes and they model climate change. Um, they may do uh, mapping systems and integrating those mapping systems with um, the computer models. So all of those careers are available when you have degrees in natural resource conservation. Um, natural resource conservation is a really large interdisciplinary field and so you have to take a lot of different variety of courses. Um, from the biological sciences and ecology to geology and um, hydrology and soils, all of those. And you also have to know a little bit about the people component. So you have to understand how to manage people. Um, if you're going to work as a park ranger, you have to know a little bit about education, how to interact with people and educate them on the environment. So a broad array of different courses that you need to take. Um, but I think the, the most interesting and fun thing about some of the courses as you get into your junior and your senior year is that you get to spend, spend a lot of time outdoors. Uh, we take a lot of field trips. Uh, we interact with a lot of different scientists, wildlife ecologists, conservationists, foresters. Um, I even take my classes uh, in, in, to um, Central Florida and we get on airboats and we count alligators and we look at snail kites and things like that just to get very familiar and hands-on with the um, environment and the wildlife. Um, some of my forestry faculty friends will take them, uh, students out into the forest and uh, look at the trees, count the trees and, and learn how to determine how much um, lump, how man, many uh, tons of lumber you could produce out of this forest. So there's a lot of different areas, um, a lot of different courses you have to take, but a lot of times um, you'll also be out in the field doing a lot of fun stuff. Um, a lot of the students in natural resource conservation benefit uh, while they're in school from participating in internships. Um, some of these are paid and some of these are volunteer internships. Um, for example, uh, um, several of my students have worked for Army Corps of Engineers uh, doing wetland delineation as their internship and actually were, were able to move into a job immediately after graduation. So, some of the other examples I can think of is that the Forest Service has some internships and so does um, U.S. Fish and Wildlife have some internship uh, opportunities that are available from time to time. Some of the internships are very local, maybe with a local consulting firm. Um, so there are a lot of different internship availability and students should definitely take advantage of those because they will help them in immediately finding a job after graduation. Uh, if you would like to have a career in natural resource conservation or to just get your degree in natural resource conservation, um, it's important for you to have as good a background as you can have in the biological sciences 
and the ecological sciences before you get to your junior year in college. And so take as many, even from high school all the way through your first two years in college, as many uh, science courses, chemistry courses, um, and even um, some of the good writing courses to prepare you for your last two years. Also, you need to find out if you really like to work in this area of, of science. And so it, it's good to go and volunteer in your community. Um, there are lots of projects at local parks. Um, in some areas, you'll have park service or forestry service. They're always looking for volunteers for you to go out and find out if you want to do um, something involved with the outdoors before you commit to this program. So my advice to you would be go out and see if you like working in the environment before you um, start taking courses in natural resource conservation.